So today we are going to be going through the GKB Combo Cedar Series. Uh, the Combo Cedar comes in a variety of sizes from 1.2 meters out to 2.4 meters. So from four foot all the way up to uh, eight feet. The GKB Combo Cedar is a cedar, or in this case for today, we're gonna to be using it as an overseeder for a sports field. Uh, we're gonna be planting perennial rye, um, overseeding of Bermuda. So we'll kind of go through some of the features and then we'll tell you how to calibrate the machine. Biggest feature that kind of makes this a unique machine is you have these two sets of cast iron spikes, spiker rollers. Uh, they are all independent of each other. And so basically what this is gonna do as the spiker, when you put it into the ground, it's gonna give you a flower pot and then your seed's gonna fall in roughly here. And then this brush is gonna brush anything that's left over or falls out on top, doesn't make it into that flower pot. And then right behind that, you're gonna come back with one more set of spiker rollers and that's gonna mash in the seed to the flower pot that you've created, give you maximum seed to soil contact. And then just behind it, you have one more brush that's going to sweep in just anything that does happen to be missed on the first pass. The brush itself is adjustable on the back if you don't want to use it for some reason. Most people are going to want to use it, but that's simply adjusted with these two handles on each side. Screw jack here is going to adjust the other brush in the front in case you want less or more uh, downforce as well. This machine is ground driven, so no PTO shaft. The front roller there is what's spinning it. There's a brush down here in the bottom that's gonna spin, put your seed out at the rate that you calibrate. That is all um, calibrated here. This device here is what calibrates the amount of seed that comes out. Obviously zero is going to be minimal amount of seed up to seven, which is gonna be your max seed. And so that's where you can calibrate. You simply unscrew here. slide back and forth. And that's what's gonna give you either more or less C depending on what rate you're trying to put out. So to calibrate your machine, it's fairly simple. Everything you're gonna need other than a scale is with the machine. So if you look right here, the tray that you're gonna catch your seed in to calibrate and weigh it is right here, this orange piece. And so to take it out, you're simply gonna Pop it off the bracket there. And slide it out the end of your machine. Just make sure there's no seed in here. Uh, this weighs 7.7 .7 pounds. We'll go ahead and solve that problem for you. That way you don't have to worry about tearing and zeroing out your scale and things of that nature. And then to calibrate, you're gonna come right over here to the side and you can see this wing nut here. So you're going to unscrew that. And this piece is gonna come off and your tray is gonna slide right in to that slot. Just like so. So to calibrate your machine, you're gonna give yourself two full turns on the front roller here. You'll need a 17 millimeter wrench to do that. And it's simply one full turn. And then your second turn. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna slide your tray out here. And it helps to have a secondary piece to put it into. So today you'll see we've got our fancy uh, Halloween bucket. scale here and we can read it and it's going to show that we've got 1.5 pounds of seed in the bucket itself and so we know by tearing it out that our bucket weighs 
12.25 pounds. So we know we're putting out at 1.25 or 12 and a half uh, pounds per thousand square feet. So the compass heater, if you need a little more weight because your field's super compacted, you know, sports fields generally get that way, especially later in the year, going through summer, spring, uh, even some fall ball, and now you're starting to overseed, you can add more weight to your compass heater, simply adding weight here and here, and then this plug here is for draining it at the end of the day. All right, one last thing uh, on the compass heater, you can see the red ball and the arm there. And so what that's gonna do, since you're riding on the tractor, you're gonna have the hood closed. You can't see into the machine. It's gonna tell you if you're as you're full and as you start to empty out. And the indicator for that is right here on the front of the machine. So obviously, as it's slapped full, it's gonna be higher. And then as you put the seat out, the arrow is gonna to start to point towards the bottom.